O Jerusalem, Jerusalem, the one who kills the prophets and stones those who are sent to her. How often I wanted to gather your children together as a hen gathers her brood under her wings, but you were not willing. Jesus is saying, listen, I wanted to gather you as a, as a hen gathers her chicks under her wings, but you were not willing. He didn't say, but God was not willing. He said that they were not willing. I wanted to gather your children together as a hen gathers her brood under her wings, but you were not willing. See, your house is left to you desolate, and assuredly I say to you, you shall not see me until the time comes when you say, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Amen. Again, this chapter began with a warning and it ends with a woe as Jesus laments over Jerusalem and the fact that they have rejected him again and again and again. And my question to you is how have you treated Jesus? Are you like that fig tree that has borne no fruit? Will you on that day stand at his door knocking and say, Lord, Lord, only to hear the words, who are you and where are you from? Because I don't know you. You see, it's one thing to know about Jesus, but it's a totally different thing to know Jesus. And it is one thing to call Jesus Lord, and it's a totally different thing to submit to Jesus as Lord. And so my question for you today, believer, is have you submitted to him as your Lord? Not just do you know about him, but do you know him? And does he know you? If you can't answer a resounding yes to that question, then I encourage you to come to terms with the answer today. To turn away from whatever sin is binding you and keeping you from surrendering completely to the Lord to reject that and to receive the grace that is available from God through Jesus Christ, his son. To submit yourself to him, to humble yourself before him, to acknowledge your sin and to receive the forgiveness that is freely offered to you through Jesus Christ. That is my challenge to you today. And I pray it's one that you'll take seriously and that you'll accept.